Hello everyone, <clears throat> how are you? This is Tanya Cross of At Sin and Glory. At Sin and Glory is a handcrafted hair accessory brand for women. And I apologize for the shaking or the focus. Um, I'm using my iPhone to record um, this evening. I accidentally left my tablet at in Durham, um, my daughter, my oldest daughter hosted a dinner, um, Easter dinner this weekend, and um, I left it at her house. So she's mailing it to me. Um, hopefully, I will get it soon. Um, and thank you for joining us. I see we have one viewer. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see you guys' comments um, from my iPhone. So <clears throat> if you post it in comments, um, I would definitely respond um, when it's over. But I, I want to thank everyone who has participated in our Embrace Your Crown, Embrace Greatness campaign. Um, it ends this month, um, March the 31st. So thank everybody who has participated. I truly appreciate it. We have received some great stories and we will be sharing those stories on our social media pages in April. I'm hoping to inspire and encourage others to embrace their crown and to embrace greatness. Okay, now let me make this quick. Um, Desiree been getting on to me. Uh, she's our social media specialist. She's like, mom, make those videos quick and fast. I was like, okay. Um, but what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is, um, and I'm going to have to tilt it a little bit so y'all can see my shirt. Too busy. Okay. <laughs> what I want to talk to y'all about um, tonight is about time and value your time because you like money. I value my time more than I value money. Money you can make back. You can work at your hours, um, do a little side hustle, but time, time is something that you, hey, Tony, thank you for joining. Time is something that you can never get back. And once it's gone, it's gone. And um, my tip tonight is to be very strategic um, in how you use your time. Um, because like I say, once it's gone, it's gone. And um, I've been very um, conscious of how I spend my time and, and who, you know, I spend my time with because I really don't have, you know, a lot of time. To be wasting. So, what I want to do, I'm going to kick out, and I took notes. I remember to make sure that I cover everything that I wanted to cover with y'all guys. Now, one of the things we say at my house, if it don't make money, it don't make sense. And that is something Miss Robbie say. If anybody watch um, Sweetie Pies, that is one of the things that Miss Robbie say. And we say that at my house a lot. But I want to expand that a little bit that if if it don't benefit you spiritually, emotionally, um, physically, mentally, or financially, then don't fool with it. Um, because, I mean, like I say, you, your time is valuable, and it's something that you can never get back. Um, and another thing that I wanted to share um, is that, you know, when, hey, Candace, thank you for joining. So I can see when you guys join. It looks like I can see your comments as well um, from my phone. So that's good. That's good. So I can see what you guys are saying, what questions um, you're asking. But look at every engagement that you have with people as an opportunity to either expand your reach or your your knowledge. Um, and especially for um, the small business owners, um, our time is very limited. So make sure that 
whatever engagement that you have is either expanding your reach or your knowledge. And then the other thing I want to say is whenever possible, whenever you can, avoid mess. <laughs> Because mess is a bunch of, and then, you know, you have to ask, well, I'm going to give y'all some tips on some red flags and how to know if you're dealing with some mess, okay? Um, one of the ways that you can know is it's in presentation, expectation, not expectation, excuse me, presentation, how they present themselves, organization, and administration first it's like how is this person this individual this company or this organization present presenting themselves um and one of the things i experienced um last week um i went online to look up this organization and this company and y'all the website had typos typos is one of my pet peeves. And I just feel like in this day and age, with spell check and grammar check, is no reason you should have typos <laughs> on your page, um, on your website. So um, so one of the things I was going to do, I said, like, okay, okay, maybe, you know, they just started, you know, they having problems. And I saw that they was looking for a volunteer page. I said, well, maybe I can offer, you know, to go through their page and... Um, help them to update it. Hey, Lakeisha, thank you for joining. And then I went to the volunteer page. Guys, the volunteer page was inactive. I was like, really? Okay, so presentation. Presentation is everything. Look at how people present themselves. Like I say, as an individual, as a... Yes, amen, Tony Cook, yes. <laughs> as an organization, um... As a business, look at the presentation, how to present yourself, because first impressions are everything. So you need to make sure you put your best foot forward, okay? Um, the second thing is organization. Okay, guys, organization, this is another one of my P's. I like things to be in order. Um, and I, my husband reminds me constantly that everybody's not like you. And I know that. And I understand that. But at least have some kind of organization. When when I come to you and ask you about, you know, what your plans are, what you're trying to do, especially if you want me to be involved in whatever you're doing or take part in whatever you're doing, you should be able to explain to me um, what it is you plan to do. Like you should at least have a short elevator pitch of, um, what, what your plans are and how you plan, um, to implement. And if somebody don't have a plan, that's a red flag guys. Like, okay, maybe there's something I don't need to be involved with. I don't need to be engaged with, because like I said, you are too busy and you need to um, value your time. And that person needs to value your time and respect your time. And, you know, they should know the next time not to bring, hey, Ebony, Proverbs, thank you for joining. Bring something to you knowing, hey, Michael, thank you for joining, knowing they're not prepared already. And the third thing is administration. Okay, administration is how the person carry out a process. Like I said, you can apply this whether you're a small business owner, you can just apply this to your person, like it don't matter. Like how do a person carry out a process? Like are they um, consistent? Um, are they on time? And I know my husband is on here. I know um, time is one of my issues. <laughs> But, you know, when I'm hosting an event or doing something like that, I make sure I start on time and end on time. And even if you aren't able to start on time, because I know sometimes things happen because I am technology challenged. So you may have technical difficulties 
or whatever. But even if you don't start on time, you know, apologize to your guests, let them know you had to explain to them what happened, but in on time, just because you don't start on time don't mean you can go over. Okay. <laughs> if you don't start on time, you need to end on time because you have to respect um, other people's time and in respecting their time, then they in, in turn will um, respect your time. So just remember when dealing with individual organizations or business, look and see what their presentation is, how do they present themselves. Secondly, look and see um, their organization, how well are they organized, um, are they able to answer the question. Um, their response, response time too is a big thing. Like if I contact you and have a question, I expect to have an answer within 24 hours, unless you specify, you know, your questions would be answered in 48 hours or a time frame. But, you know, respond, their response time and also their um, administration. How do they carry out tasks? How do they carry out programs? How do they, So those are the things you should look for because you're too busy and <laughs> your time is valuable, more valuable mon than money. And time is something that you can never get back. So those are the red flags you should look for um, as small business owners, just as individuals um, when dealing with people and engaging with people. And I hope that everyone found this information help helpful. Um, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Take care. Have a good night. Bye.